Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a Sephora haul. So I got a email from Sephora that was like, uh, you haven't shopped with us in forever, here's 20% off. They don't do that. I was so confused, but also like, okay. Um, and I haven't shopped with them in forever. I think I've placed maybe one or two orders in all of 2020, not including this one. Um, so I really haven't, and I used to place one order a month or every other month, so it was a big difference, but I don't know. I just thought it was interesting, and I know the VIB sale is coming up soon, so I don't know if they were like, it doesn't really matter anyway because we're about to offer that sale anyway because most of this stuff is stuff that I had in my cart to buy in that sale. I'm not sure if I'm going to grab anything else during that sale um, because I've been really trying to limit my purchases and while I did spill, still spend probably more than I should have, I really narrowed down my cart um, compared to what I normally spend and what I wanted to spend. Um, well, not... I didn't want to spend money, but what I wanted to purchase, um, I really narrowed it down. So anyway, I'm going to share with you the products that I have. I have tried all of them but two, so I can kind of tell you my thoughts about them as well. So the first product is the Drunk Elephant e Rays or e Rosy Milky My Cellar Water. So I... Drunk Elephant is very hit or miss with me. There are some products of theirs that I love and some products of theirs I really don't like. Um, unfortunately, this is one that I didn't like. I was really excited to try it. I love my cellar waters and I um, had really high hopes for this. It is very milky like the name suggests, but like an oily milky type of a, type of a feel but also not oily in like a good sense, like an oil cleanser that's gonna take off your makeup. It did not do a great job of removing my eye makeup. It did take off all of my face makeup, but really didn't take off eye makeup. I don't know, it was just a weird, and it does say it has three ceramide blend wild melon seed oil. So there is some kind of oil in here, but it didn't work. Like it either needs to be an oil cleanser or it needs to be a micellar water, I feel like. I did not enjoy this and I will unfortunately be returning it. Okay, then we have the Belief Aqua Bomb Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. I have not tried this one yet, but I do love the Belief Aqua Bomb Moisturizer. And ooh, this is a pretty decent size. And I wanted to try their cleansing balm. I will take this off because I think I'm gonna try it tonight. Ooh, that looks nice. So it looks like it's a pretty firm texture. I mean, firm-ish. So you're going to, it comes with a scoop and you're going to scoop some out. I'm really excited for this. Um, I cannot wait to try that. If I do try it tonight, I'll leave either in the description box or in a comment below um, how I felt about it. Okay, then on to the makeup. Okay, I'll just tell you the one other thing I haven't used yet. So I grabbed the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette Stoned Rose Beauty Palette. I love these little palettes from Charlotte Tilbury, and these shades looked really nice. I really contemplated whether or not I was going to get this, because while I love these palettes, I really don't use them on a day-to-day -day basis. I save them more for traveling, which I obviously haven't been doing a lot. But the shades in here look like this is probably going to become my new favorite one of these palettes. Um just because like the bronzer is a little bit lighter than some of the other ones I have. The blushes aren't quite as dark. Um, anyway, so this is this palette. I am really excited to use this one. I think I'm going to use it tomorrow. Um, I've been just like working my way through trying all these things. It's not that I haven't wanted to try this. I just have been using some of these other products in front of me. But um, yeah, really excited for that and really um, think I'm going to love it because I, I already know I like Charlotte Tilbury and I have two others of those palettes that I do enjoy. Okay, then from Lawless, I grabbed the Summer Skin Velvet Matte Bronzer in the shade Golden Hour. Um, I am wearing this today. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. I've had my makeup on for several hours at this point. Um, this is a little too warm for me, but I think I'm going to keep it and try to make it work. Um, I hate returning a whole bunch of stuff that I buy, but um, it's not terrible and it's not too dark. It's just a little too warm, but it might be nice in the summertime. Um, so I'm going to hang on to it. We're going to try to make it work. But then 
we have the Make Me Blush Velvet Blush in the shade Vintage Love. And I really wanted to like this. I don't even know that you can see it. I feel like my blush is kind of worn off already. But it is really quite dark when it first goes on. And um, I think I'm just a little too, too fair for this shade. Um, yeah. The texture is nice, like the blush is nice. It's just a little too deep and it doesn't really blend out without like going away. So I think I'm probably gonna have to end up returning this one. Okay, then the last face product I bought was the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, a matte bronzing filter for face and body in the shade two medium. Um, this thing is huge. I did not expect this to be this big. I literally thought it was going to be like, so like this is a Charlotte Tilbury blush and I thought it was going to be comparable. <laughs> and like the Charlotte Tilbury powder is a similar size to the blush. So I was expecting like a normal size and it is not. It is huge. Um, but I do really love this bronzer. This is not too warm. It's not too dark. It's really, really nice. And I have only used this once, but I'm already really in love with it. So um, definitely gonna hang on to that and use it. And I do think it's cool that they have, these are refillable. So there's a little um, spot back here where you can like poke it out. And next time, instead of repurchasing this whole huge thing, you can buy just the pan. Not that I will ever use this up because it's huge, but um, I do think that's cool that you don't have to repurchase the whole compact. Okay, then we have two eyeshadow palettes, and that is it. Um, I told you guys this was a pretty, I don't know, I wouldn't call it a small haul, but smaller than my normal sale hauls. Okay, so next up is the Huda Beauty Haze Palette in the shade Sand, and I am wearing this on my eyes today. It is a lot more pinky purple than I was expecting it to be, but I do love pinks and purples, so I'm okay with it. Um, I have used this twice already, and I really like it. The only shades I haven't used are this one because it's quite orange. It doesn't look as orange on camera, but it's pretty orange. And then, um, actually I haven't used any of, any of this row. So this gold I haven't used yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it because it looks like a similar texture of these other shimmers and I always love a good gold. And then I haven't used this shimmer, which it looks a little different texture than the other ones. It looks like it might be a little more sheer, more like a topper um, than like an actual glitter shade. Or, I mean, these aren't glitters, but like a, sh a shimmer shade that's like fully opaque. This one looks like it's gonna be a little more sheer, more like a topper. Um, so I haven't used these three shades, but I have used all six of the other shades and I'm really enjoying them. So, um, yeah. Okay, and then the last one was the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I have only used this palette once, but I really love it. I love the shades in this. I love how they are more neutral, kind of leaning cool toned, and that is like what I am here for. I love these shades. I really have been having to look at my Natasha Denona purchases a little more, um, I don't know what the word is. I want to say skeptically carefully I don't know um I was for a while buying pretty much every Natasha Denona palette because I love her formula and I love her products but I have a lot of them that I'm not using like just to show you guys this is my Natasha Denona collection just the big ones these aren't even my mini ones I rarely use the star palette I rarely use the Leela palette love the gold palette love the Biba palette I like never use the Tropic palette I never use the Safari palette and I never use the Love palette. So that's five palettes. Well, that's three that I like never use and two that are pretty rare. So for such an expensive palette, it's crazy for me to keep buying these. And I wanted the bronze palette really badly, but there were a lot of like orangey warm tones in there. Even though it was a neutral palette, it was a lot of orangey warm tones, which if you have been around for my channel for a while, you know that that's not my favorite. So when she released this one, I got so excited because this is definitely more neutral to cool tones and I am loving it. Um, I haven't used a ton of shades in this palette yet because I've only used it one day, but I'm loving it and I know I'm going to continue loving it and 
yeah. So anyway, those are all the products that I purchased from this haul. Let me know if you've checked out any other new releases and you liked them and I should try them or um, what you're planning on grabbing at the VIB sale. Like I said, I might place another order, but I'm not sure yet. I'm really trying to hold off on buying too much, but we'll see. I am still really considering the Hourglass palettes because I buy those every year and I really love them. But I had talked myself out of this year's because the big one with six shades, I already own, I think, three out of the six shades in that. So, like, money-wise, it's not really worth it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you've tried that one already, the new one, let me know if you like it and if you think it's worth it. But, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.